You're watching Access LaPorte County Channel 97. Coming up next is the November 17th special meeting of the Long Beach Town Council. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. Okay, welcome everyone. Welcome everybody to the special meeting of the Long Beach Town Council. I was like 17, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, roll call. Mary Lou. Here. Okay. Oh, here. John Coleman. Here. Mike Johnson. Here. Okay. Um, I've got no opening comments. Uh, first agenda item is the SCBA. That's the uh, air compressor for the water department. No, fire department. Fire department. Uh, did we get feedback on that? Did we jump? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did we get any feedback from the SCBA? No, no, Kirk was going to give us some. Okay, so <laughs> I've tried to. Oh, um, here's the microphone. Thank you. Forgot about that. I've, I've tried to get some more homework done, and I wasn't successful other than to tell you that we did call a, so there's actually three components, if you can imagine. There's the compressor itself, which you would assume would have the most value. There are big tanks that we use on the ground. We had to replace those with higher pressure tanks. They're kind of like, if you've ever been on a construction site, they're the big ones that you weld with. And then there are seven of those. And then there are the old SCBA tanks, which are the ones that we throw on our backs. The SCBA tanks have absolutely no value because they're, you cannot reuse them once they get to this point and they're not uh, NFPA compliant because the air packs themselves are not, so those are just junk. I just found out today from the welding supply house that those tanks are so old they're no longer made and you can't use them for things like construction gases, so they essentially have no value. Uh, the compressor is the last item that may or may not have some value. I have not been able to confirm with Kurt, who if you recall, uh, I felt a little embarrassed at the last meeting. Kurt was in here and he, he said to me that that number that I had in my head that was supposed to be the salvage value of the ground tanks, the big ones I just mentioned, and the compressor together were was somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,700. And then he said, basically said, well, wait a minute, we're not really sure. So I don't think that value approaches that number anymore because what I found out about the tanks today. So we're likely down somewhere between, you know, a grand or so. I've since had some conversation with Chris, and do you want, is it time for you to enlighten us a little bit? Sure, sure. Since that meeting, I, there is a statutory provision <coughs> time to give that equipment to or sell, by the way, what you do with Travis as well, to your volunteer fire department. So, one way around this, because I, I also try to. Uh, Communicate with Kurt to see if he's got nothing. So nobody will put it in writing. He hasn't heard back from him. Um, he even reached out to see if Michigan City Fire would be interested in buying it. And again, that, no response. So you do have the ability to give it, and maybe if you were inclined just to move this thing forward, put a caveat on there that whatever they spend gets earmarked towards, you know outfitting their trucks or whatever that is so that it's not money lost on the town, it's not being given away, but if they're able to read the benefit and their value determined that it gets applied. But most important from your perspective, because we had some discussions of whether we have to determine the surplus or moving things like the Swiss parents had to do with vehicles and it's going to help out the fire department with you do not you, you would be able to give that equipment over because right now it's owned by the town and then the town and the fire department can dispose of that. So I guess if you guys are willing to go that direction, as we mentioned at that last town council meeting, our dilemma is where if you've been over there, it's like a sardine can with a few too many sardines in it. And we have this, this equipment, this surplus equipment, we need to get rid of as soon as we can because our rescue, our current rescue vehicle is actually sitting out on our bed and you know what that means. So if you saw it clear to say, to, along the lines of what Chris suggested, then you guys would essentially give it to the fire department, we would dispose of it and it, it give you the receipt of whatever that those dollars consisted of at the point where we were able to salvage any of them. We may still get a little money for the compressor. I know we're not going to get any money for the SCBA tanks or the uh, air packs, and we may get a little bit of money for the compressor. Can they use them if we don't need them? Can, can they still use them? The only thing that would be usable right now 
from a practical standpoint. The compressor itself is usable. There's nothing wrong with the compressor. It's old, but it's, it's usable. That's a big box, you know, yeah. the big blue box in there. The ground tanks, if somebody was going to use them for breathing air, which is kind of a unique situation. In other words, fire departments are pretty much, or diving, which is the other place that they could be potentially be used. So if we were able to find a, like another department that, that would be interested in paying us right now, we haven't been able to find that over the last four or five months. So that's, that's, those are the only two useful things, basically. Okay. And so they had no need for the compressor? The only people that need it are somebody with a dive team or another fire department. We would not success. We've been trying to get it to another fire department. We were talking about even if the town was amenable to donate it to another fire department. We've not been able to do that. Because we have another compressor? Yeah, we have a brand new one. So when we went from 4,500 pound system to 6,000 pound system, everything has to be updated. The tanks on the truck, the tanks on the ground, the, the, the SEV units, and the compressor. So we all, thankfully, for, you know, you guys were able to, to see fit to cough up for the compressor, and we got a grant for the tanks and the, and the SCBA. So that's where we stand. I, I think that's a better way to do it because then we can hurry up and get it out of our hair, and we can report back to you about. And, and, and I don't, we're not talking about more than that number that we were batting around the other day. We'll, we'll be lucky if we get a grant for this stuff. I think. Now, if you choose, if you direct us not to give it to Michigan City, I can understand that, and, and we won't do that if that's the the feeling for the for the council. So, but we would try to get some salvage out of it somehow. I would make a motion to get it to the uh, fire department, volunteer fire department, let them dispose of it as they will. I wouldn't want to make any restriction on where they sell it or give it to. Uh, I don't want to blame the fire department for the common council's lack of whatever. Uh, so that's my motion. I second it. Any other discussion? One before you vote, just making it clear that John's recusing himself because of his connections to the fire department. All in favor say aye. 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 And that's unanimous. Okay, police donation account. Thank you guys. Please okay. Good afternoon. I'd like to take a few moments first before I get into my explanation to kind of touch on. Um, donation accounts across the nation as they relate to not only police departments but fire departments, um, emergency police responders. Communities across the country are very generous and they're very generous and supportive of the emergency responders and therefore they make in kind um, donations to the police and fire departments. Um, it's no different than what has occurred here in the town of Long Beach. I would like to now give you an explanation as to the Long Beach Police Department's donation account. Prior to a banking account being established, donations to the Long Beach Police Department were kept as cash in the banker's bag in the Chief Marshal's office. This practice dates back to 1990 and more than likely years before that. After SBOA, State Board of Accounts, audit review in either 2009 or 2010, then uh, the chief marshal was advised to set up a debit account for purposes of auditing the deposits and expenditures and our clerk's office at the time was aware of the account set up. Horizon Bank, um, the checking slash debit account was opened on August 3rd, 2010 by the then chief marshal and the lieutenant, which would have been the chief deputy. Both were issued debit cards for the account the funds were used for miscellaneous expenses for the department, community outreach, food for various events, employee appreciation, year end dinner, training, and other <coughs> expenditures. I was able to locate the original Verizon Bank documents from when the account was opened in 2010, and only a handful of receipts from the previous years were remaining in the file folder, as I do not believe there was good record keeping at the time. 2019. The then Chief Deputy Marshal was preparing to retire, and the individual that was promoted to sergeant um, then was taken to uh, Horizon Bank and was issued a debit card. The retiring individual had the name removed from the account, and the signature card was updated at Horizon Bank. 2021, the then Chief Marshal was preparing for retirement, and I was beginning the transitional period for the first week of January 2021. The then Chief Marshal um, spent about a week with me, takes me to Verizon Bank, updates the account signature card, and 
and I can then issue a debit card for that particular account. And then only two individuals remain in that account, myself and the chief deputy. January 7th, 2021, I locate $91 of cash in a banker's bag in the chief marshal's office. I then directed the chief um, deputy marshal at the time to deposit the $91 of cash into the town's police donation account at Horizon Bank, as no cash should be kept in the chief marshal's office. And that was a practice that I started when I was hired here on January 4th of 2021. Therefore, the account balance in January 2021 was $1,862.13 after the $91 was deposited. January of 2021 to current, I have maintained and I have deposit slips and or invoices and receipts for any and all transactions that have occurred out of this account. In May of this year, our newly appointed clerk treasurer had asked to be added to the monthly statements at Verizon Bank, at which time I had sent an email to Dace Cunningham, granting the request, asking that our clerk treasurer be added to the monthly statements at Verizon Bank. After um, last week, and this isn't on the uh, bullet point that you have, last week after a budget and finance meeting, there was a discussion that had came about in reference to the police donation account. So um, in my short tenure here, I began to do a little bit of digging into the account, not being too familiar about the setup and the history of the account. I then um, began to research the account. I then reached out and spoke with Michael Crowley at the State Board of Accounts, and he confirms that donation funds that are received here at the Long Beach Police Department should be maintained within the town bank accounts and that our clerk treasurer is responsible for the monthly reconciliation of the bank statements. Expenditures from said account. The SBOA explained that all expenditures should go through our internal control procedure. All claims are being authorized by the town council Funds shall be kept in a specific donation line item for the police department, and all transactions should be processed through the clerk's office as all other purchases are for our town. So before I get into the corrective action plan, um, I took a deep look at everything that we had done previously before my arrival, the continued practice from previous years, and I now have in place a corrective action plan moving forward. Effective this morning, Thursday, November 17, 2022, at 9 a.m., I went to Horizon Bank and I closed out Horizon Bank account 8771069. The funds that were in this account are $2,432.61. Um, a bank cashier's check was issued in that amount. I have that here today and will be asking that we direct those funds, that particular check, be deposited by our clerk treasurer into the appropriate town account as authorized by his office. Any future donations received from either businesses or residents to the Long Beach Police Department shall be provided to the clerk treasurer office for deposit into the police donation account. Any and all expenditures to be paid from this particular account shall go through the internal control process within the clerk's office and will appear on the monthly check registry for approval by the town council at the regular monthly town council meeting. The clerk's office will conduct monthly reconciliations of the account balance and will maintain all invoices, receipts, and any of any and all expenditures. Also today, as I uh, turn over the uh, check, that was issued from Verizon Bank. There is also, with the, um, with the check, there is original documentation of when the account was set up in August of 2020, or sorry, 2010. There are bank statements since um, my hiring here at the town in January of 2021. All bank statements are accounted for and present in there to November of 2022. In addition, under the corrective action plan, I would respectfully request that the town council ask our town attorney to draft an ordinance that specifically outlines the deposits of donation funds and the approved use and expenditures of these funds, similar to what other cities and towns do in the immediate area. 
Um, in my previous employment, and I've got an example here for you today under ordinance number 4443, this creates a ordinance under municipal code for the city of Michigan City. This is their donation account that I've used as an example. And you can find this on the Muni code on the internet. This is where I had uh, cut and pasted this from this morning. They have established a donation account for the police department, the fire department, and the tree board. Specifically under section 2-407 for police department donation funds, um, it says that it's hereby established a police department donation fund. This fund shall be restricted. non reverting fund, the purpose of this fund shall be for the receipt of money for fund donations, fundraisers, and other sources. And said money shall be used by the police department for expenditures directly related to following purposes. Purchase of equipment and improvements of police department facilities owned by the city. Materials and supplies for use in the operation of the police department. <coughs> education of the public regarding crime prevention, police related matters including promotional, educational, and training supplies, and community events. Training and educational activities. Community outreach initiatives, which include, but are not limited to, events such as Shop with a Cop, Easter egg hunt, and etc. The purchase of food, drink, and other perishable items for meetings, events, celebrations, and other specific fundraising campaigns for the police department. Police department shall not use these funds in its donation fund for any other purposes than stated herein, and such funds shall be administered by the controller's office, which is similar to our clerk treasurer office here in our town. Donations that the Long Beach Police Department has received in uh, recent months and in the time I've been here, we generally receive donations with no specific intended purpose. Um, I recently had an individual resident who came in, handed over a $200 check, and said, I'd like to buy your officer's lunch. I never took him up on the offer. I just put the $200 in the donation account and deposits there. But I didn't go out and individually buy a lunch. But over time, in the last uh, almost two years, I've purchased pizzas for our reserve um, deputy unit, which is a volunteer unit. We do not pay them. For their nightly meetings and their training sessions, we would go next door and we'd spend $40, $50 on pizzas. We would feed the entire group. They were happy. They never left the training session to have a dinner break. And then we went out for training. Uh, many individuals that come in, they ask to use these funds to support your officers, do something nice for a brave emergency responders, buy your staff lunch, support community outreach events support our volunteer reserve deputies. And most recently, we received a generous $10,000 donation towards the purchase of a new ATV unit. But that particular check we had already turned over to the court treasurer's office and has been deposited. So that is not within what we're speaking of today. In summary, the donations we receive are not specifically designated to one particular event or purpose. Residents just wish to show their appreciation for all efforts. Um, I can tell you one of the most recent expenditures from that account, um, our truck and treat event that we had partnered with the Long Beach Fire Department. Um, we went out, we purchased $98 in donuts from Ells Carly. The children thought it was quite comical that police officers were handing out donuts for Halloween to the trick or treaters. And um, I have the receipt to back that up that $98 in donuts were spent. And I'm sure we got some Facebook photos out there that support us giving out those donuts as well. I can assure this council that the funds that are either in that account or were in that account one time are not used for personal gain, not used to purchase alcohol. They're not used for gratuity purposes, and they're not used for entertainment purposes. It is solely for supporting our community outreach within our community, supporting our staff, our officers. Um, the water that you have before you today for this meeting is purchased out of that particular account from Walmart here locally in Michigan City. So my purpose of this and coming forward with this is to recognize that we have some deficiencies on how the account was set up. We need to take corrective action to make sure that moving forward that we are doing this in a proper manner with full transparency to the community that we serve. So I would ask that the um, council direct our attorney to um, work with me to draft a ordinance to have for your December meeting 
that is similar to what other communities around us have done and is obviously approved by the State Board of Accounts, otherwise they wouldn't have the ordinance on the books to substantiate such. And then within that particular ordinance, I would just ask that possibly for consideration a discretionary amount, either $250 or $500, that I wouldn't have to come to the council for every small expenditure, but maybe if something exceeds $500, and obviously I would come before you in the regular public meeting, I would then propose the expenditure to you, asking for permission to proceed with the expenditure. Again, I sincerely apologize for uh, my deficiency in catching this earlier and not bringing it to the attention of everyone. I appreciate our clerk treasurer for bringing it to uh, my attention, and um, like I said, I Hope that this uh, corrective action plan is acceptable to all. If not, I am prepared to answer any questions today. And uh, just a clarification, Mark, um, who has the authorization to withdraw money from that account? Currently, um, myself and Sergeant Schooley, but as of this morning when the account was closed at Verizon Bank, Horizon Bank um, had me surrender over both of the debit cards that we have previously had. So my debit card, Sergeant Scooby's debit cards, were turned in this morning. They were cut with scissors in front of me. They were then placed into a shredder. The account was closed. Clerk Perry now has the remaining funds, the 2400 and some odd dollars, and uh, I would ask that that check be deposited, and if we could direct the clerk treasurer's office to establish a line item separate within itself within one of our town accounts for police donation funds, and then maybe also move the earlier $10,000 donation check for the ATV to that account as well, because at some point I will be approaching the council to spend that $10,000 to purchase a new ATV uh, more than likely in 2023. Okay, so are you the only person that's on the going forward? Um, no, going forward, it would be our clerk treasurer would have full um, authorization of the account, supervision of the account. I understand that who's going to authorize it? Authorize the purchase. The purchase, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Yes, the purchase is coming out of the account. That's why I'm asking for the discretionary amount up to say $500. I would authorize that anything over $500 would be full council approval. And then we would ask that all that be put into the ordinance so that um, we would have that on the books for um, any art review in the future. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I would make a motion to ask our town attorney to uh, draft an ordinance similar to Michigan City's ordinance number 4443 with what you said as far as the uh, authorization uh, to withdraw. I'll second that. The only addition I would make, so if you had debit cards and you no longer have debit cards, then you're not going to have easy access to this $500 limit that we're putting on it without something like that. Can we, or is it okay? I, I would use the town's credit card. Um, oh, you I have an authorization on town's credit card with a $5,000 limit, so I'm responsible for purchases on that credit card, so I would use that. And then any, let's say we have a $200 expenditure on there, I would then email the clerk's office asking them that when the credit card statement comes due at the end of the month, that particular expenditure come out of the donation account. Um, I know earlier, um, Clerk Perry had indicated that he had some communication from the SBOA that he may want to share with us. Can I answer any questions related to that? No, there, there's a letter that basically <clears throat> There's a letter that I had most of the points that you brought up, Chief, and I distributed the letter while you were talking. Okay. I just want to make sure again, and, and you know, I think I put it in earlier uh, in the email a week ago, too. My ultimate goal here is, again, not to bring embarrassment um, mainly to the town, second to myself, and uh, to be full transparent with all of you. Like I said, I should have caught this some time ago, but I'm uh, still diving into a lot of things that uh, need to be looked at on my behalf, and I'll continue to do a good job for you. So you have like a sack of money in your office. Ninety-one dollars. <laughs> so, uh, so that's the first sack. Who knows where the other ones are? So they have a motion and a second. Thank you. All in favor say aye. 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 Next agenda, I'm sorry, Ordinance. We have that, uh, we've all seen that. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we've had plenty of discussion about it. I think it's been amended uh, at the last meeting. Um, anybody have any questions about it? Otherwise, I'll make a motion to approve. Do we need to discuss the treasurer salary before we approve the salary ordinance in the event that the current treasurer salary is adjusted? We could do that. You want to do that? 
I mean, I guess that probably does make some sense. Okay, so clerk, treasurer, clerk, treasurer, salary. Um, everybody's aware of the issues, I think. Yeah, I, I looked at it, and uh, we're on the low end, that's for sure. And I'd suggest we uh, take what the current salary is and what the average salary is, add those together and divide it by two. That would get the salary still below average, but 44923 that would be my suggestion. We, we did prepare the budget for 2023, and we entered in about 50000 in budget. It was approved by the town council and adopted by the state. So the recommendation would be to make the salary of $50,000. That would still be below the average, but it would be more mild. Well, while the town of Long Beach has wanted to pay at the higher end of the regional salary range, opt to retain qualified employees, um, I don't believe this clerk is qualified and will oppose any increase. So I'll entertain a motion on that. Somebody want to make a motion? Just to clarify, you have a motion, right? Very, I don't know if you made, and I just want to remind you also that this is oh, four right? minutes if you need time to figure out what those averages are if you don't have them. You, you have to just have this path by the end of the year. Which if you do it this year, you you know have exceeded what you've done in the past couple or having to amend them, right? So you, you do have the ability yeah, if you're not prepared today, or you can move forward also and have have the open discussion. So John, is that a motion? Well that'd be my suggestion. I, I can put it into a motion. Go ahead. That we put the salary at forty four nine two three. Is there a second? I'll second it. All right, let's do a uh, all in favor. Uh, raise your hand. Aye. Two. All right, so that's all opposed? Opposed. Okay, so um, I'll entertain another motion. I would uh, make a motion that we bring compensation to the $50,000 level. Is there a second? favor, raise your hand. All opposed? Did you want to raise your hand? Oh, I did. Oh, you did. I'm yeah, sorry. Did you raise your hand? I'll make a motion that we leave the salary where it is. Is there a second? I second it. Any discussion? All favor, raise your hand. All opposed? Anybody else want to make a motion? Well, I guess the next question will be to make a motion to uh, bring the compensation for $48,000. And that's from a present 34, right? Correct. Is, a six, uh, is this correct? This 36.4? Yes. It's yes. current. The current. Yeah. Somebody said from 34, it's not 34 right now. 34 it's, says, right? So well, it says 36, 4, I hope 36, it's right. 4, okay. Uh, so we have a motion to, to go to what? 48. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor, say, or raise your hand. All opposed? John. Oh. <laughs> another motion. If we have another motion, I would make a uh, motion to take them. We have a meeting next month. If we did decide to change the salary, it would come in before the uh, deadline of January 1st. So I'll make a motion to take them. Is there a second? I second it. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed? Passes three to two. All right, it's tabled. I don't have any other agenda items. So we have to do the salary administration. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I forgot that. Okay, so salary orders. Everybody has it in front of them. Everybody's looked at it. Um, Time out now. Can we what? pass the salary orders without finishing the clerk's salary? Yeah, we just motioned the table. I know that. Yeah, but are you going to? We have to. Yeah, right. Sure, you can consider that. Yeah, yeah we have to. We through the same gymnastics potentially, right? So. Yeah. Yep. So uh, the other option would be to table this until the next meeting. Uh, well, my only comment would be it doesn't seem to make sense to me to pass the salary ordinance when we think we may entertain a change to it a month from now. I, 
I'm confused. Is that? I think that would be a reason to table this yeah. till next meeting. I agree. You want to second that? I'll second. All in favor? Raise your hand. All uh, opposed? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I have no other agenda items. Anybody else? No. Public comments. Oh, we better also she's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, Julian's maybe that much is twenty three hundred for our land. Um I saw the donuts, I didn't eat the donuts. They were lovely, well decorated donuts. Thank you very much. Um, this council or such people tend to throw out apples and apples and apples and oranges and when we're looking for salaries for different people, we come up with 17 numbers, and then we combine everything and divide by 17. We don't have titles. We don't say part-time. We don't say full-time. We don't say benefits. We don't talk about support staff. Um, and just today it was we take a, a low end, or you know, a current salary, and then we take an average salary, and then we divide it by two. Well, we don't talk about whether this is a full-time job or a part-time job. We don't talk about why checks or NSF, why somebody can't look at a computer before 10 o'clock in the morning or now 2 o'clock in the afternoon for zero checks or four checks. We don't talk about how much is paid for insurance. What, what, what is the cost to the town of the insurance for the clerk treasurer? And his family is my understanding, and I may be wrong. Um, we don't talk about how many staff that we brought in to support the clerk treasurer. We don't talk about how um, we don't talk about um, um, Dick Magnamy, who I understand is not paid. We don't talk about Carl Sender, about Trista, about Anna, who started at 15 hours for the building commission and then becomes 40 hours. We don't talk about, we do talk about a smiling face. Well, I don't think that we need to hire someone to be a smiling face. I consistently have said that Deanna has always been very helpful. I sent a neighbor over to her today, and she got a phone call back within five minutes. So I don't understand the play of, um, you know, why we, why, we, why we just kind of decide that there's a raise because we have to find qualified people. I think we need to look at what we have right now, and I believe that you're a council that can always make an amendment if someone qualified is found, and thank you. Any other public comments here? Any public comments on Zoom? I don't see anybody. Any council comments? I would just like to clarify one of the uh, comments made by Ms. Rendlicious. Rendlicious. Sorry. Uh, the check in question uh, was not returned for the reason that she promised the check was returned. And I was here for the meeting, I know. Yes, but you just said an SF. That's what did, you to did you listen to yourself? They said it was an NSF check. No, it was not an NSF check. Well, that was it was returned for the reason we were to make her is not sufficient funds. That was what was said at the council. I don't care how you're me out right now. Do you understand me? Don't ever talk to me in that I just talked to you that way, but you don't seem to understand. Oh, you do not talk to me that way. No, I just did it. Any other council comments? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Close enough.